and the video series of neurology medicine today i will discuss tremors first of all you should know what is tremor so it is a rhythmic involuntary movements it is a rhythmic involuntary <coughs> movements of body parts so tremors are the rhythmic involuntary movements of one or more than one body parts so what are the types of different tremors there are two types of tremors that is yes resting tremors and action tremors resting tremors presents at the rest while if i talk about action tremors first when the patient start the voluntary movement of the body so under resting tremors there is pillow rolling tremors so resting tremors it is mainly seen in parkinson disease it is mainly seen in parkinson disease in in parkinson disease the patient is usually manifested with rigidity akinesia and tremors so in this parkinson disease there is pill rolling tremors whenever uh, we count money like in this way or we count beads this is basically pill rolling tremors now in action tremors it is further divided into into three types action tremors it is further divided into three types that is essential tremors orthostatic tremors and physiological tremors and keep in mind the most common type of tremor is essential so when the patient start voluntary movements so that is it is increased with the voluntary movements and it decreases with the rest essential tremors are high frequency in nature so it is high frequency in nature and keep in mind the frequency is from 6 to 10 hertz now it is mostly it is seen in which age group so it is seen in bimodal age distribution so there is bimodal age distribution in essential tremors meaning it is most common in teens and it is most common in more than 60 year so the bimodal age distribution it is seen in essential tremors that is it is most commonly it is seen in teens and it is most commonly it is seen in six decade the history is very important in such patient so here in this patient the family history will be positive so essential tremor it is aggravated with movements it is it is relieved with rest and it is the frequency is 6 to 8 hertz sorry 6 to 10 hertz the, there is bimodal age distribution that is in teens and more than uh, 60 year and the family he the most definitive sign for the essential tremor is that it is usually the condition is worsen with the anxious state or uh, it is uh, ag aggravated with certain stress condition but it is relieved with when the patient is taking alcohol so it is important that the essential tremors it is aggravated it is aggravated with a stress condition and it is relieved when the patient is taking alcohol what is the treatment option for the essential tremors so the treatment option is propranolol it is the drug of choice and the second option instead of uh, propranolol is that is primidone when i say about the orthostatic tremors now orthostatic tremors it is highly it is associated with certain positions and it is mostly it is seen in more than 60 year age group patient right it is important it is seen in old age patients so in uh, in orthostatic tremors it is seen in older patients when the older patients they stand for a longer period of time so there is trembling movements in the leg there is trembling movements in the leg 
uh, when these patients uh, change their position or when they are able to move their body so at that condition the trim the trembling is relieved but again when the patient come to a rest position the again the trembling movement get started so it is associated with the old age patients so in this condition you have to give the clonazepam in this condition you have to give the clonazepam and you have to give the gaba pentine now what is the physiological tremors and it is mostly it is not it is not any abnormality it is not associated with any disease rather the physiological tremor it is seen in even healthy patients and if you see in a healthy individual uh, if you observe the hands so there might be a bit tremors present now what is flapping tremors flapping tremors is also called as hysterexis it is also called as hysterexis in it is most common etiology in organ failure like in renal failure or lung failure or any state of pathology related with the heart so it is most common etiology in the organ failure now in flapping tremors you will ask the patient to stretch their hand like in this fashion in such a way that the palms is facing forward so you will ask the patient to uh, to stretch their hand in this way flapping tremor like this so this is called as flapping tremors now these are the high oscillatory tremors these are the high oscillatory tremors when arms and hands are stretched so flipping tremors are the irregular high oscillatory tremor in functional tremors there is no underlying pathology there is no any disease associated tremor as in the functional tremors that is psychological even the patient could not able to pick that whether one is suffering from psychological disease so it is mostly seen in certain disorder it is seen in the convergent diseases it is seen in the anxiety or fictitious disorder these tremors get worsen under direct observation and it is relieved by distraction so it's important in under direct observation there will be tremors but when you distract the patient so in that condition there will be no tremor